hotel was, was pretty nice. They put me on the uh, Starwood preferred guest level. We're gonna do this very, very quickly. We'll have a chance to go through this in detail throughout the week. I'm here for a while. So, closet and a breakfast nook combined into one. It's cool functionality. I actually really haven't seen that too often before. So I like that functionality, that's pretty good. Nice as a space, nice efficiency there. It's a bathroom, looks to be redone. All right, let's see what we got here. Dirty menu. It's kind of disgusting. Menu on the bed. Looks like I should replace some of this paper here though. It's not too hard. Looks a little used. A little beat up. This is dirty. So this breakfast thing on the bed was dirty. Just gross, just just uh, kind of a disgusting feeling. And then these have seen better days. These menus, they're paper. You know, these, these aren't printed on linen or cloth, they're paper. If people use these, go ahead and replace them. Don't, don't put them back in there. It's a, it's a poor touch. You can see how that one's kind of bent and curved. It's a poor touch. The room is clean. It smells remodeled. Water waiting for you. Yeah, the view is, uh, we call the view Metropolitan. This is a Metropolitan view. Kind of a weird use of space. You can see the wall ends right here, but then there's this weird little corner right in here. It's probably just the way the rooms were cut way back in the day. This might not have originally been a hotel. It might have been something else. Um, there's a $5 box waiting for someone to get thirsty at night. Lamps have USB and power. That's about it. We'll go over more details later. It's been a long day. So I'm gonna change out of these clothes. I'm gonna plug in my peripherals. I'm gonna jump into that bed. Let's test out this bed. Hey, it's pretty good. It could be the best thing about this hotel room, actually. Bed's pretty good. Huh, they were in. Nicely done. That's approved but I'll uh, have to give it a fisher review in the morning, but an initial box, right, that's pretty good. All right, I'm out of here. I'll see you tomorrow morning. All right, it's Monday morning. I'm just walking around this level. It's supposed to be the Marriott Bonvoy level, the old Starwood preferred guest level. I don't know if that means that there's a club level up here, if there's a lounge or something. I'm not sure, I'm just gonna look for it real quick. I am reminded of two things when I stay at a hotel. So yeah, when I stay at a hotel, I'm always reminded of two prerequisites. And I don't care how luxurious it is, there are two things that matter the most. There are a bed and a hot shower. And Le Meridian passes on both. Is there a club level up here? Hmm? Is there a club up here? Le no. Okay. Yeah. Like I was saying, uh, the Meridian passes on both. A plus, slept brilliantly. Uh, hot shower this morning. Temperature control in the room is absolutely perfect. Um, it may not have all the amenities and luxuries of a uh, St. Regis or whatever else, but for Houston downtown, it was quiet last night. I gotta say, my first night, I was pleasantly surprised. All right, so it's 4 p.m. I got in late last night. Probably didn't fall asleep till about two. Woke up this morning, did a project, went to go set up the trade shop booth. I'm tired, it's raining. I'm doing path of least resistance. I'm gonna go downstairs to the restaurant and see what they have to eat down there. I'm exhausted. Hopefully, I can come back upstairs, get some rest and relaxation, take a nap, decompress, and hopefully tonight, uh, engage in some indulgence in Houston. Maybe some barbecue, pizza, slice of life, drink or two, let's see. But as of right now, we're gonna go downstairs. Hello, how are you? Welcome. Can you join in the 
here's a quick rundown of the lobby area. Um, this is the lobby of the Le Meridian in Houston. Nice little business office right there, little business center. So it's, it's cozy, it's very homelike, it's a place to uh, read a book, do some work. And over here, looking bit down this way, looks to be just some ballrooms and things like that. So the check-in is on the second level of Le Meridian. There's a rooftop bar that's closed tonight, but when the rooftop bar is closed, you can always go downstairs to Zutro. I ate at Zutro yesterday for lunch, and it was really, really good. If you're at Le Meridian, I give it a recommendation. Before I go down there, here's what it looks like. So there's check-in right there. And then uh, here's kind of like the lobby area. Hello. I mean, it sounds like this place is really, really loud. This is the Zutro. Diverse menu and uh, really, really good cocktails. If you're staying at Le Meridian, I highly recommend it. The meal came out really, really quickly. And this is the uh, grand entryway or the foyer into the hotel. Elevators take you up to the second floor, which we were. And then Zutro is right around the corner of that red architecture. It's my first Le Meridian experience in a few years, and I gotta say, I like it. It's a nice change of pace. If you stay at Marriott all the time like I do, you get really familiar with the brands. And as an old saying goes, familiarity breeds contempt. And it's always great to have a spice of life or some diversity. And uh, I really, really like it. So it's a great place. Quick overview of the fitness facility at Le Meridian. Pretty common for Sheridan and Marriott hotels. You have your piece of universal equipment over here. You got one to two benches, two benches here, and then you have some uh, some spin equipment, some ellipticals, and then some treadmills. Has quite a few aerobic machines for the size of the hotel. The overall space is large. Um, I'd say overly large for um, a, sh a Marriott property of this size. More heavily weighted towards aerobic than resistance training. But Marriott usually does you proper if you want to throw some weights around. They almost always guarantee at least a universal machine and then uh, free weights up to 50 pounds. So pretty clean. Seems like it's relatively new. You can always tell, you can always get an indicator about how fresh the place is, how new it is by usually the flooring and then the technological advancement of the treadmills and the, the aerobic machines. So that's it. There's a plastic bottle there. There's some towels thrown about. Most upscale hotel places will send someone in here every hour or two to pick up the towels on the ground. I came in here a couple hours ago trying to do a video and there's someone on the aerobic machine so I wanted to give them privacy before I came in here and did one. But those towels were still on the ground. So, great spot. Overall, my stay at Le Meridian has been above average and I would stay here again. Uh, it probably has a pass rating from Coolest, but it's just those little things that differentiate upscale, high-class hotels from average hotels. That should be in the garbage. Let me do you a favor, Le Meridian. There you go. How hard was that? I pick up the towels, but they're not mine. But how hard is it? 
send someone in here, do, do some work. But yeah. Waters. Yeah, that's it. So the rooftop bar was closed tonight. So I went back down to Zutro. And I was glad I did. I found Zutro to be a better lunch spot than a dinner spot. Um, over lunch, it was great. Um, I had the crab, I had the burger, and uh, it was just a great experience. At night, I explored more of the menu, and I paid this compliment to the bartender, and I let her know it was a very, very creative menu. Um, it wasn't the most vast, but each dish was different, and of the dishes that they had on there, each, each dish was unique, each dish had variety, and I explored more of it. I had the um, I had to put it on squash, which was good. It was like a B, C. It was it was average. Um, it, it was a pass rating. And then I had the brisket, which was a pass. It was a little dry. And then I had the um, duck mole, which was just okay. So I ended up acing my first experience because I ordered probably the best dishes on that menu. I had some cognitive dissonance the first time I was there and I wished I had a bigger stomach or more time I would have ordered more food but I had a chance to go back there tonight and I ordered those dishes that I yearned upon previously and they were just okay they were just okay um, the bartender made a great ad hoc uh, strawberry daiquiri for me and uh, has the uh, chocolate cremo for, for dessert it was you know for $120 it was probably just average so I would recommend Zutro as a lunch spot or as a pre-dinner spot but as a dinner spot I'd probably go elsewhere in Houston all right 6 a.m. in the morning and I'm uh, making my way back to California and giving a quick recap of La Meridian just a, a few words that come to mind after staying here for a week and I want to say great bed great shower good restaurant downstairs perfect perfect business hotel it's downtown Houston it has a great value um, good quality amenities and um, it's exactly what you need for business. So again, great shower, great bed, great location, good amenities, and um, and a, a decent place to eat downstairs. When you're traveling for business, what else can you ask for? All right, we're gonna get in this elevator. And we're gonna make our way back to San Diego. I'm sick of this rain, getting back to San Diego. All right.